Exodus chapter 34, verse 9 and 10. And we are going to ask everyone to stand to the reading of the word. Ezra would not have read the scroll until everybody would stand to the reading of the word. Because the word is so important. It is God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word is God. Uh, glory to God. If you're there, say amen. amen. The Bible says, And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us. For it is a stiff-necked people. And our iniquity and our sin and take us for thine inheritance and he said behold I make a covenant an agreement before all thy people he says now I will do marvels such have not been done in all the earth nor in any nation and all the people, all the people, every single one among which thou art shall see. It's not going to be nighted. It is going to be open. The work of the Lord. Listen now. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. That word terrible in verse 10, you cannot take it on just face basis. When you understand what terrible means in the Hebrew, this word means awesome. I want you to put down your Bibles, hold somebody by the hand, and tell them God will do an awesome thing with you. Come on, tell him four more times. God will do an awesome thing with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell him. Tell him. Walk from your seat and tell somebody that the Lord will do an something with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell them you, 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 you. Tell them with you. I need you to prophesy and tell them that God is about to use you. I'm not talking 
talking about the person that's beside you. I want you to tell them that God is about to use you. In case you thought that you were good for nothing, everybody has forgotten you. Tell somebody God has not 